Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to calibrate dosing pump heads on a GHL dosing pump. For this process, you'll need either a measuring cup or graduated cylinder. We recommend using a graduated cylinder because it can provide you with the highest degree of measuring accuracy. If you don't have one on hand, the next best option will be to use a measuring cup. Keep in mind that the more accurate your measuring instrument is, the more accurate your pump calibration will be. Before you get started, make sure you have your dosing lines already installed and primed with fluid. If you don't have the lines primed just yet, you can always prime them by pressing and holding down the manual override button on the dosing pump itself. Press and hold this button until both the in and out dosing lines are filled up with fluid. Once that's done, you can go ahead and begin the calibration process. Take the tube that will dispense the fluid and place it into the empty graduated cylinder or measuring cup. Next, select the dosing pump channel that belongs to the pump that you'll be calibrating. From here, choose at what speed you want to run the pump at. If you'll be dosing fluids that do not require 0.1 milliliter accuracy, speed 2 and 3 will suffice. If you need to dose with 0.1 milliliter accuracy, Set the pump speed to 0 or 1. If your single dosage amounts are going to be less than 0.5 mils, we recommend you select speed 0. Once you've selected your pump speed, you'll see this dialog box pop up. This message just tells you that the flow rate of the pump has been changed because the pump speed has been changed. Click OK to close the window, and then click on Save Changes to set the new dosing pump speed. Keep in mind that anytime you change the speed of the pump, you must always click Save Changes before proceeding with the actual pump calibration. With that done, click on Calibrate the Pump Now. When this message pops up, read it, then click Yes to begin the calibration. At this time, the selected dosing pump will run at the set speed for one minute. After that minute has passed, Take a look at how many milliliters the doser dispensed and enter that amount into the flow rate of the pump box. Try to be as accurate as possible with this step because this is what dictates how long the pump will have to run so that it can dose the exact requested amounts. With the new flow rate entered, click Save Changes and you're done. The dosing pump has now been calibrated. Be sure to repeat these exact steps for any other dosing pump that needs calibrating. Once that's done, you can go ahead and begin setting up your dosing schedules. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you need additional tips for achieving maximum pump accuracy, take a look at our dosing pump blog post on our website. We've placed a direct link to that page in the description box below. If you have any questions for us, feel free to post on our GHL support forum or send us an email for one-on-one -on -one support. Until next time folks, take care.